Have you ever thought about what those three little numbers on your credit report really mean? Or perhaps how you can unlock the secrets to boosting your credit score? Well, in today's video, we're diving deep into the world of credit scores, decoding the mysteries behind them and revealing the powerful strategies to take your credit score to new heights. Let's get started understanding the numbers. Understanding the basics of credit scoring, we can gain insights into how lenders evaluate our credit worthiness. Payment history. One of the most critical factors in credit scoring is an individual's payment history. Late payments, defaults and bankruptcies can significantly impact credit scores. On the other hand, consistently making on-time payments can help boost credit scores over time. Credit utilization. The amount of credit used compared to the total available credit, known as credit utilization ratio, plays a significant role in credit scoring. Keeping credit utilization below 30% is generally recommended to maintain a good credit score. Length of credit history. The length of time you have held credit accounts is also a crucial factor in credit scoring. Lenders prefer to see a longer credit history as it provides them with more data to assess your credit worthiness. New credit applications. Applying for multiple lines of credit within a short period can be seen as a red flag by lenders. It may indicate financial distress or a higher risk of default. Credit mix. Having a diverse mix of credit accounts, such as credit cards, loans and mortgages, can positively impact credit scores. It demonstrates responsible credit management and the ability to handle different types of credit. Decoding credit scoring. Personal information. This section includes identifying information such as name, date of birth, social security number and current and previous addresses. It is essential to ensure the accuracy of personal information as errors can lead to discrepancies in credit reporting. Credit accounts. This section lists all the credit accounts an individual holds, including credit cards, loans, mortgages and lines of credit. It includes information such as the account balance, credit limit, payment history and account status. Payment history. The payment history section outlines the individual's payment behavior for each credit account. It includes information such as the date of payment, payment amount and any late or missed payments. Credit inquiries. This section lists any inquiries made by lenders, employers or landlords. It differentiates between hard inquiries, which occur when an individual applies for new credit, and soft inquiries, which occur when lenders review credit reports for pre-approved offers. What lenders look for? Payment history. Fair Isaac Corporation scores heavily weigh an individual's payment history as it serves as a predictor of future credit behavior. Consistently making on-time payments can help maintain and improve Fair Isaac Corporation scores. Credit utilization. FICO scores consider the credit utilization ratio, which reflects the amount of credit used compared to the total available credit. Keeping credit utilization below 30% is generally recommended for optimal Fair Isaac Corporation scores. Credit history length. The length of an individual's credit history plays a role in Fair Isaac Corporation scores. A longer credit history provides more data for lenders to assess credit worthiness. If you're still watching our video, please share your experience in the comments below. How can your everyday financial habits like paying your rent or utility bills on time impact your credit score? Maximizing your credit score potential. Calculating credit utilization ratios. To calculate your credit utilization ratio, divide your total credit card balances by your total credit card limits. For example, if you have $5,000 in credit card debt and $20,000 in credit card limits, your credit utilization ratio is 25%. The ideal credit utilization ratio, while there is no one-size-fits-all ideal credit utilization ratio, keeping it below 30% is generally recommended. This shows lenders that you are responsibly managing your credit and not relying too heavily on available credit. Strategies for lowering credit utilization. Lowering your credit utilization ratio can be achieved by paying down existing debt, requesting credit limit increases and avoiding unnecessary credit card spending. Timing credit utilization reporting. Credit card issuers typically report balances to credit bureaus once a month. To maximize your credit score potential, consider making multiple payments throughout the billing cycle to keep reported balances low. Considerations for multiple credit cards. If you have multiple credit cards, spreading your balances across different cards can help lower individual credit utilization ratios and improve your overall credit score. Late payment reporting. 
Late payments are typically reported to credit bureaus once they are 30 days or more overdue. The severity of the late payment, such as 30 days, 60 days or 90 days overdue, can further impact credit scores. Credit score impact. Late payments can significantly lower credit scores, especially if they are frequent or severe. The more recent the late payment, the more it can impact credit scores. Addressing late payments. If you have late payments on your credit report, taking immediate action to address them is essential. Contacting creditors, setting up payment plans or negotiating settlements can help mitigate the negative impact on your credit scores. The passage of time. While late payments can remain on credit reports for up to seven years, their impact on credit scores diminishes over time. Consistently making on-time payments moving forward can help offset the negative effects of past late payments. Spotting potential issues. Inaccurate information. Review your credit report for any inaccuracies or discrepancies. Incorrect personal information, accounts that don't belong to you, or inaccurate payment histories should be addressed by contacting the credit reporting agencies. Delinquent accounts. Identify any delinquent accounts or late payments on your credit report. Make a plan to address these debts and work towards bringing them current or settling them. Collections and charge-offs. Collections and charge-offs on your credit report indicate accounts that have been sent to collections due to non-payment. These can have a severe negative impact on credit scores and should be resolved as soon as possible. Public records. Check your credit report for any bankruptcies, tax liens or judgments. These public records can significantly impact credit scores and should be resolved or discharged according to legal processes. Identity theft indicators. Look out for any signs of identity theft on your credit report, such as unauthorized credit inquiries or unfamiliar accounts. If you suspect identity theft, immediately report it to the credit reporting agencies and take steps to protect your personal information. Practical strategies to boost your rating. Pay bills on time. Consistently making on-time payments is one of the most effective ways to improve credit scores. Set up payment reminders, automate bill payments, or create a budget to ensure timely payments. Reduce credit card balances. Lowering credit card balances can significantly improve credit utilization ratios and boost credit scores. Focus on paying down high interest debts and avoid maxing out credit cards. Establish credit history. If you have limited credit history, consider opening a secured credit card or becoming an authorized user on someone else's credit card to establish a positive credit history. Monitor credit reports. Regularly monitoring credit reports allows individuals to identify and address errors or discrepancies promptly. Several credit monitoring services provide real-time alerts when changes occur on credit reports. Avoid unnecessary credit inquiries. Limit credit applications to those that are necessary. Each hard inquiry can temporarily lower credit scores, so be strategic in applying for new credit. Seek professional advice. If you're struggling to improve your credit score, consider consulting with a reputable credit counseling agency or financial advisor. They can provide personalized guidance and strategies for credit improvement. Thanks for tuning into our video. A good credit score can open doors to better opportunities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more insightful content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.